In this video, we're going to quickly set up uh, the basics for developing our page from a template, uh, one of the Bootstrap templates. I've got on the right hand side, I've got a trusty text editor. Uh, in this case, I'm using Notepad++. You could use any other text editor that you choose. Uh, on the left side of the screen, I've, uh, I've got my browser window. Uh, in this case, it's Firefox. Uh, other browsers will work as well. Uh, so sometimes Internet Explorer and, and Edge give a little more of a problem than Chrome or Firefox or Safari, uh, but it's up to you on, on what you want to develop for. So if we open up our instructions, you can see some of the things that we need to work on. Uh, the very first thing we kind of need to work uh, through uh, is creating or is to download a template. And so if we go to startbootstrap.com, we can go and see some different templates. There are other websites to go and some of them are listed in the instructions if you don't like the templates that are available here. I like these ones because these are all uh, freely available uh, for personal and for commercial use. And we can go and, and you know look through some of these. I actually thought uh, for this example I may show you a couple of different templates. So I actually kind of like this portfolio item layout kind of fits what we what I want to do with the page and so I want to go and, and look at it I can uh, click on it preview a, a you know view a live preview of what this uh, site will look like it looks pretty nice and uh, and I can go and download uh, download this the files that are needed for this template so I'll, uh, I'll save those files and select the folder that I want to work out of now for this project or for this part I'm going to I'm going to use actually a couple different templates and combine them together. You don't have to do that for your for your piece, but uh I'm going to do that for mine. Oh, why is it not going back? The other one I kind of like is I kind of like this this three column portfolio view and it actually goes nicely with the other theme that we got. So I'm going to download this one in the same folder. All right, so now that we've got that, we're going to go to the folder that I downloaded these to, and you'll notice that I've got zip files. Now, zip files are not going to be useful for us to work out of. They will cause no end of problems if we start, if we just double click on these and start entering in here and going in, uh, through these. So I need to extract them. I'm going to, uh, on this computer, I have 7-zip installed, so I can just extract here. You can also just use the extract all command. On, on Mac, there's similar commands. So if we extract both of those there, now we've got those, those folders nice and extracted. And I'm just going to, just so I'm not confused, delete those zip files. Now, I highly recommend keeping everything in a folder. You don't have to leave the folder the name of uh, whatever, uh, you know, the template has used. But uh, we're going to go and and use the folders that are here. Now if we go into them, let's start with the top one here. Inside of the three column uh, template, we've got a, a license and a readme file. If you want to read those, you can. Uh, but the, the important files that we want is you'll have one or more HTML files. Uh, one of the files will be index.html. That's going to be one of our main HTML files that we're going to work through. We will also probably have a JS folder that stands for JavaScript. And that's going to have some files that are used for Bootstrap for adjusting the site for when it uh, when you change the screen size for mobile apps or for big uh, screen or for mobile screens or for big screens, for example. We're not going to really touch the JavaScript folder. We also may have a fonts folder, all right. And this, we'll talk about fonts in a little bit in another video uh, about this the fonts that are available. I'm going to add some fonts actually uh, in another video. And then we have a CSS folder. And that will have our bootstrap and bootstrap min uh, CSS files. These ones you want to leave alone. These are kind of the standard uh, bootstrap uh, CSS files. But the, you probably, uh, in your template folder, uh, will have in the CSS a, uh, a CSS file that is specific to this theme. And this is the one that we'll be editing. Okay. Now you may also have a, fo a folder uh, called, let me add one here, called img. Uh, that may have the images, the background images, and other images that are used for the theme. In this in this theme, there weren't any th images that came with it, and so there wasn't one. Now, if I go back, like I said, I downloaded two templates. Both of them have very similar things in them. 
but I want to have two different pages here. In this in this demo, I'm going to demo, uh, use two different pages. And one of the pages, uh, I'm going to do a root beer themed site. So one of the pages is going to be specifically on uh, a root beer called Captain Eli's. And so I'm just going to rename that index file there. And the other thing I'm going to do is copy that into my other folder, merge those things together, and that way we've got everything all together. So now I can get rid of that other one, and we can just work off the pages here. Again, you don't have to do that. You'd only have to create one, uh, one file for this part of the project. So I've got two HTML files, and if you remember, if, if we open uh, these HTML files, I'm going to open this one with uh, Firefox. Here is our nice little page. You can see that it's showing off um, the images, and that's kind of nice. And we can kind of slide this over just a little bit, and you can see that it adjusts based on the width of the screen. And that looks kind of nice. Okay. And if we also look at the Captain Eli's and open that one with Firefox then we can see what this one looks like and that one also looks kind of how I want it to look so that's great but these files not only can be opened with the browser but they can also be opened by our text editor so I'm going to open these uh, files with notepad++ uh, I have notepad++ installed you can either edit it right here or hit open with and, and find notepad++ um, or just go open notepad++ and hit open uh, any of those will work but we want to go and open this so that we have the the HTML files in notepad++ now while we're here I'm also going to open up uh, the Captain Eli's one because I'm going to work on both of those as well as the three column portfolio file I'm going to edit that in uh, notepad++ as well